This year has been a dynamic one, to say the least, for science, research, climate events, and space exploration. CBC Radio's Bob McDonald is the host of Quirks and Quarks. He's been keeping a running tab of the standouts, and he joins us now to tell us about four of his top science stories of 2023. Bob, a lot to choose from this year. What piqued your interest in the world of science in 2023? Well, Dan, one of the first stories is about space, and it's a Canadian story. Our Canadian astronaut, Jeremy Hansen, is going to fly to the moon. And it's the first time a Canadian's gone to the moon and the first time in, since 1972 that anyone's gone to the moon. Uh, he's not going to land. He's going to go there on a 10-day mission as part of the Artemis II mission with three other astronauts. They're going to circle the moon and come back. But what's different about this one is that they're going to go beyond the moon. They're going to go farther into space than anyone's ever gone. And there's actually going to come a point where they'll be able to look back and see both the moon, the full moon, and the Earth in the same shot out the window. That's going to be amazing. No humans ever saw, saw that. So it's, uh, it's going to be quite a flight. Hopefully get off next year. Amazing. And another one uh, to do with the space as well, right? A big yeah, telescope. The the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful one we've ever put into space, continues to rewrite the astronomy textbooks. It looks back farther in time than any telescope has ever done before, and it's seeing galaxies that are less than a billion years old. That's really, really young. And what they're finding is that these galaxies are much more mature than they thought before. Uh, they thought that galaxies started out kind of rough and then turned into the beautiful spirals like ours, but they're finding way, way back there, they're much more developed. So it's re rethinking how galaxies come together and how stars started, you know, looking at our own origins is kind of exciting. And the images that it is bringing back are stunning. Oh, yeah. So space research, obviously a highlight this year. What else caught your eye? Well, one of the other things is the uh, wildfire season mm. that we had this year. You know, not just in BC, but right across Canada, there were more fires than ever on record. 2023 was the hottest year on record. And to me, it just says that climate change is no longer a thing of the future. It's here. It's now. It's in our face. And I'm just hoping that this is a wake-up call to move on to clean energy, you know, and, and just get on with it because it's, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> and to round out, we've got uh, um, uh, AI and chat GPT, lots of things going on with that. What, what piqued your interest there? Well, uh, I've been doing some surveys and I found that a lot of people in the public are afraid of artificial intelligence. You know, it's going to turn into Terminator and take over the world. I, I don't think that's going to happen. But chat GPT and artificial intelligence are proving to be very, very powerful tools. And in fact, Canada's top prize, the Hertzberg gold medal, was given to Joshua Bencio, who was one of the founders of artificial intelligence. And he said, you know, it's a great tool. It's going to do wonders for science, but we have to be careful how it's used and that it's not misused. So like any powerful tool that's come along in the past, we have to be careful about how it's used. But it's an exciting new time in computer intelligence. Let's just hope we avoid Skynet. Bob McDonald, yeah. CBC Radio's <laughs> host of Quirks and Quarks. Thanks so much, Bob.